Welcome back everybody. With the weather improving, things start moving a little quicker and it seems everything's falling into place. Our frame is uh, making progress and the composite panels are shipping. You might remember in my last video I was just going to weld it and deal with these small scorches and uh, weld it after it was assembled. Well, this happened. And for those of you just joining us, the composite panels are shown in beige here and they adhere to the inside of the frame shown in blue and I was going to weld those after gluing and riveting it all together just to avoid warping but uh, as it happened that didn't turn out. Uh, here's some clips of the plasma cutter cutting our aluminum from 3 16th inch sheet showing it all broke to shape there. After I got it I started practicing some TIG welding on some of the slots that needed to be sealed up and then I brought in a friend Clay who did some of the welding for me. We just started tacking it together and dry fitting some parts just to make sure there were no errors and there was actually one. It was no big deal uh, so we had to get one of the parts remade but uh, as you can see it just went slow and steady. We just tacked it together and warping wasn't really an issue which was nice. So there's some clips from the inside. We had to learn some TIG acrobatics to get some of it done, but no big deal. There's a shot of Matt. Really appreciate all the hard work he put in. Um, I think I'm going to leave all these TIG welds exposed, or rather, I'm going to leave them. I'm not going to grind them off on the outside. The inside I've smoothed all the welds in preparation for the panels adhering to them. Um, and then I've scuffed up the whole inside surface where the panels are going to be bonded just to promote that bonding action. And here's a uh, clip of what it looks like now. I've got my 100% Chinesium light bar. Just more shots of some of these welds. I think I'm just going to leave them. Put a coat of paint over it, it'll look sharp view of the inside all scuffed up. We're actually getting our composite panels later today, so that's exciting. We'll get some of those put in and get a feel for it. As far as the uh, adhesive goes, I got that in too. Everybody's favorite, Sikaflex 252, and I'm using the 206 primer. And a big shout out to Regan for borrowing me this Milwaukee adhesive gun. It's going to save a lot of blisters. So this is what we're going for. Hopefully I'll have something halfway livable by the end of the month and we can go on some short camping trips. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next time.